Let's see if I can do this in one take. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about some weird little thing. Then we're going to talk about um, whatever I want to talk about. And then we're going to talk about, um, what do you call it, hierarchies in modern day society and um, how they form. The ekpyrotic process begins far in the indefinite past with a pair of flat, empty brains sitting parallel to each other in a warped five-dimensional space. These brains, which form the walls of the fifth dimension, could have popped out of nothingness, but it's more likely that they were predetermined by a pre-existing set of laws. And that's how the universe started. If you understood any of that, congratulations. So, I forgot what the second thing we were going to talk about is. Oh, right, some nonsense. Um, so that was the nonsense. Um, right, so now we move on to hierarchies. And that's what else this video is about. Alright, so, I was thinking today, as I do, I think, a lot, and I was like, who decides things in our upbringing? It must be the schools, right? But who decides what we learn? Well, we live in a democracy. So the people decide what we learn. I live in the state of Oklahoma, unfortunately. And um, recently, a law was passed that the Bible must be taught in public schools. Now, if that enrages you or makes you feel happy, I don't give a shit, honestly. What got me thinking was that my specific town of Enid Public Schools was like no we're we're not going to we're not going to follow the the law and uh teach the bible in public schools so um the person who said this was the um superintendent and uh well that got me scratch my head i'm like okay so the superintendent can just do whatever they want and i thought well Obviously, my town's a little, I've noticed my town's a little different than all the other towns in Oklahoma, and that's because we have some serious money backing specific ideologues. And, uh, so, I was thinking, the people who elect the people who decide what our children learn unless we have the money to send them to a school where we decide what they learned based on other people's money is um, they are taught by people who have their learnings predetermined by people who have them set by people who are elected by people who have money. So that's what it all comes down to. It's money. We have hierarchy because some people put forth more effort into society than others. So really, democracy is only as solvent. I hope I use that word solvent correctly, which is ironic. Democracy is only as firm as it is um, what's the word where you like you can see uh, it's transparent F democracy is only as firm as it is transparent entertainment for the video that was a visual gag if you uh, are listening to my videos so um Obviously, I am a very neutral person. I consider myself to be a true neutral, um, not necessarily good, not necessarily evil, not necessarily lawful, not necessarily chaotic. Just a straight up true neutral. 
just a happy little guy. I obviously do things for my own gain. I do things for others' gains. Like you guys, my subscribers. But I only help you guys because you're subscribed to me and you help me. See how that one works? So, the uh, people who have money got this money most likely because they contributed more to society because more people of the democracy decided with their dollars that they would support a specific cause and then these people who have been supported monetarily can then use their money to support the fundraising of politicians. Now, when I say that democracy is only as transparent as it is, fir or only as firm as it is transparent, then people can be coerced into certain things. They might uh, desire things because they have been lied to. I believe that advertising in marketing is one of the worst plagues that has ever set foot on this planet. I don't have much else to talk about. That's kind of what I wanted to uh, to get at was that um, our children's education is decided by who has money. But those people have money because they helped a lot of people. Or they could have gotten their money through more malicious means. In an idealistic world, which I always look towards, rather than a truthful world, is one in which everyone is only compensated for helping each other. I say drinking out of a plastic water bottle. Not water bottle, water jug. Drink gallons here. Something else I want to talk to you guys about is electrolytes. Um, I'll just squeeze this one in here. You can raise your quote unquote vibration by raising the amount of electrolytes you have. So, electrolytes are the materials in the blood that grant it an electrical charge. So, the more electrolytes you consume, the more electric your bodily composite will be. And this will, quote unquote, raise your vibration. And when you raise your vibe, you get a little happier. And when you get happier, you uh, start to see things more clearly. And by clearly, I mean um, there's some sort of etymological trick etymological I use that word etymological so easily but I know that means based on etymology and everyone knows what etymology is so there's an etymological trick that clear means psychic so the clearer you see things the more psychically you see things so uh, the easiest way to raise your electrolytes is to take magnesium supplements to eat bananas or avocados for potassium and to have iodinized table salt just straight you uh you take those three things and you'll have your base electrolytes covered you're welcome for the tip you just got to be a little religious about that salt whenever you get a little bit hungry you're really okay so when you're fasting the first thing that you crave is water you need water it's like the oil of the body you're constantly running through it through sweat and pee pee and um then you need salt so uh after salt uh once once you start craving salt you'll start feeling hungry like you'll know water i need water but you're so forced fed into food through um, Western upbringing. I mean, you're fed three meals every single day. You, fa fasting is not something that's taught 
at all unless you go to a super conservative school where they might mention it or you grew up in uh, the East or the Middle East where fasting is part of the cultural phenomenon. So the first thing you crave during a fast is salt. So you just put a little bit of salt in your hand and lick it, lick it up. And uh, do that maybe three times and you'll be good on your salt. The next thing you're gonna want is magnesium. Magnesium is going to stop your muscles from cramping and potassium does the same thing, but you're gonna want that a little later. And that's how you can go for days on end without eating any food, and you still feel great. You just need electrolytes. And then when you stop eating, you just eat a ton of food. And I mean like you wanna eat and eat and eat and eat. And it's really good when you eat. Because when you eat, you can have um, Minerals enter your body, which you couldn't from just eating electrolytes. And it's very good. It's the first car that's went by in this recording. But I did this in one take. All right, so remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Like so other people can see the video. Comment on what you thought was interesting or what you want me to talk about. And subscribe so you can keep seeing my pretty little face. There's my little, pretty little face for you a little better. There you go. Pretty little face. Have a good day.